Chapter 13 The Thunder In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra These are the verses of the book, this Quran, and that which has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, from your Lord is the truth, but most men do not believe. Allah is he who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can perceive. Then he rose above the throne in a manner that suits his majesty. He has subjected the sun and the moon to each running its course for a term appointed. He regulates all affairs, explaining the signs and revelations in detail that you may believe with certainty in the meeting with your Lord. And it is he who spread out the earth and placed there firm mountains and rivers. And from the different kinds of fruit he made them into pairs, males and females. He brings the night as a cover over the day. Indeed, in these things there are signs and revelations for people who reflect. And in the earth are neighboring tracks and gardens of vines and green crops, and date palms growing out two or three from a single stem root, or otherwise from one stem root for every palm, watered with the same water, yet some of them we make more excellent than others to eat. Indeed, in these things there are signs for people who understand. And if you, O Muhammad, wonder at these polytheists who deny your message of Islamic monotheism, and have taken besides Allah others for worship, who can neither harm nor benefit, then wondrous is their saying, When we are dust, shall we then be raised in a new creation? They are those who disbelieve in their Lord. They are those who will have iron chains tying their hands to their necks. They will be dwellers of the fire to abide there. They challenge you to bring doom upon them, rather than turning righteous. Sufficient precedents have been set for them in the past, but indeed your Lord is full of forgiveness for mankind, in spite of their wrongdoing. And indeed, your Lord is also severe in punishment. And the disbelievers say, why is a sign not sent down to him from his Lord? You are only a warner, and to every people there is a guide. Allah knows what every female bears, and what every womb releases or gains. Everything with him is in due proportion, all knower of the unseen and the seen, the most great, the most high. It is the same to him whether any of you conceal his speech or declare it openly, whether he hide by night or go forth freely by day. For each person there are angels in succession before and behind him. They guard him by the command of Allah. Indeed, Allah will not change the good condition of a people as long as they do not change their state of goodness themselves. But when Allah wills a people's punishment, there can be no turning back from it, and they will find besides him no protector. It is he who shows you the lightning as a fear for travellers, and as a hope for those who wait for rain. And it is he who creates the clouds heavy with water. And the thunder glorifies and praises him, and so do the angels because of his awe. He sends thunderbolts, and with them he strikes whom he wills. Yet the disbelievers dispute about Allah. He is mighty in strength, and severe in punishment. For him alone is the word of truth that none has the right to be worshipped but he. And those whom the polytheists and disbelievers invoke answer them no more than one who stretches forth his hand at the edge of a deep well for water to reach his mouth. But it does not reach him, and the invocation of the disbelievers is nothing but an error and of no use. And to Allah alone falls in prostration whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, and so do their shadows in the mornings and the afternoons. Say, O Muhammad, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, it is Allah. Say, have you then taken for worship protectors other than him, such as have no power, either for benefit or for harm to themselves? Say, is the blind equal to the one who sees, or darkness equal to light? Or do they assign to Allah partners who created the like of his creation, so that the creation which they made and his creation seemed alike to them? Say, Allah is the creator of all things. He is the one, the irresistible. 
He sends down rain from the sky, and the valleys flow according to their measure. But the flood bears away the foam that mounts up to the surface, and from the ore which they heat in the fire in order to make ornaments or utensils rises a foam like it. Thus does Allah by parables separate truth and falsehood. Then, as for the foam, it passes away as scum upon the banks, while that which is for the good of mankind remains in the earth. Thus Allah sets forth parables for truth and falsehood. For those who answered their Lord's call, and believed in the oneness of Allah, and followed His Messenger Muhammad, is paradise. But those who have not answered His call, and disbelieved in the oneness of Allah, and have not followed His Messenger Muhammad, if they had all that is in the earth, together with its like, they would offer it in order to save themselves from the torment, but it will all be in vain. For them there will be a terrible reckoning. Their dwelling place will be hell, and worst indeed is that place for rest. Shall he who knows that what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, from your Lord as the truth, be like him who is blind? But it is only the men of understanding that pay heed, those who fulfill the covenant of Allah, and do not break the covenant. Those who join that which Allah has commanded to be joined, they are good to their relatives, and do not sever the bond of kinship. Those who fear their Lord, and dread the terrible reckoning, and abstain from all kinds of sins and evil deeds which Allah has forbidden, and perform all kinds of good deeds which Allah has ordained. And those who remain patient, seeking their Lord's countenance, perform prayer, and spend out of that which we have bestowed on them, secretly and openly, and defend evil with good. For such there is a good end. Everlasting gardens in paradise, which they shall enter along with those who acted righteously from among their fathers and their wives and their offspring. And angels shall enter to them from every gate, saying, Peace be upon you, for you persevered in patience. Excellent indeed is the final home. And those who break the covenant of Allah, after pledging to it, and sever that which Allah has commanded to be joined by severing the bond of kinship, and not being good to their relatives, and work mischief in the land, on them is the curse. They will be far away from Allah's mercy, and for them is the unhappy evil home of hell. Allah increases provision for whom He wills, and withholds it from whom He wills. And they rejoice in the life of this world, whereas the life of this world as compared with the hereafter is but a brief passing enjoyment. And those who disbelieve say, Why is a sign not sent down to Muhammad from his Lord? Say, Indeed, Allah sends astray whom He wills, and guides to Himself those who turn to Him in repentance. Those who believe in the oneness of Allah, and whose hearts find rest in the remembrance of Allah, indeed, in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. Those who believe in the oneness of Allah, and work righteousness, all kinds of happiness is for them, and a beautiful place of final return. Thus we have sent you, O Muhammad, to a community before whom other communities have passed away, in order that you might recite to them what we have inspired to you, while they disbelieve in the most gracious Allah. Say, He is my Lord. None has the right to be worshipped but He. In Him is my trust, and to Him will be my return with repentance. And if there had been a Quran with which mountains could be moved from their places, or the earth could be cloven asunder, or the dead could be made to speak, it would not have been other than this Quran. But the decision of all things is certainly with Allah. Have then those who believe not yet known that had Allah willed, He could have guided all mankind? And a disaster will not cease to strike those who disbelieve because of their evil deeds, or the disaster settled close to their homes until the promise of Allah comes to pass. Certainly, Allah does not fail in His promise. And indeed, many messengers were mocked at before you, O Muhammad. But I granted respite to those who disbelieved, and finally I punished them. Then how terrible was my punishment!
is Allah then who guards, maintains, and provides for every person, and knows all that he has earned, like any other deities who know nothing? Yet they ascribe partners to Allah. Say, name them. Is it that you will inform Allah of something he does not know in the earth? Or is it just a show of false words? No, to those who disbelieve, their plotting is made fair-seeming, and they have been hindered from the right path. And whom Allah sends astray, for him there is no guide. For them is a torment in the life of this world, and certainly harder is the torment of the hereafter. And they have no protector against Allah. The description of paradise, which is promised for the righteous, is flowing streams, inexhaustible provisions, and cool shade. Such is the destiny for those who observe righteousness, while the destiny for the disbelievers is hell. Those to whom we have given the book, rejoice at what has been revealed to you, this Koran. But there are among the confederates from the Jews and pagans, those who reject a part of it. Say, O Muhammad, I am commanded only to worship Allah alone, and not to join partners with Him. To Him alone I call, and to Him is my return. And thus we have sent the Quran down to be a judgment of authority in Arabic. Were you, O Muhammad, to follow their vain desires after the knowledge which has come to you, then you would not have any protector or defender against Allah. And indeed we sent messengers before you, O Muhammad, and made for them wives and offspring. And it was not for a messenger to bring a sign except by Allah's leave. For each and every matter there is a decree from Allah. Allah blots out what He wills, and confirms what He wills, and with Him is the original record. Whether we show you, O Muhammad, part of what we have promised them, or cause you to die, your duty is only to convey the message, and on us is the reckoning. Do they not see that we gradually reduce the land of the disbelievers by giving it to the believers in war victories from its outlying borders? And Allah judges, there is none to put back his judgment, and he is swift at reckoning. And indeed, those before them devise plots, but all planning is Allah's. He knows what every person earns, and the disbelievers will know who gets the good end and the final destination. And those who disbelieve say, You, O Muhammad, are not a messenger. Say, Sufficient for a witness between me and you is Allah and those, too, who have knowledge of the Scripture.